Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 4 under linear algebra. So in today's class we are going to see how to find a joint of a matrix and inverse of the square matrix using a joint matrix. Okay. So here you can see that we have written down that a joint and inverse of a square matrix. That means to find the adjoint and then inverse of a matrix, the first criteria should be the matrix should be in cross in matrix. Okay, that means the square matrix. So fine, here we are going to consider two cross two matrix as well as three cross three matrix. Okay, another important point is we will be finding out inverse of a matrix. Inverse of a matrix exists if and only if the matrix determinant is not zero fine so we have seen in last class only right that how to find the determinant of a matrix so if determinant of a matrix is not zero we call that the matrix is non-singular remember we have seen even the definition of singular and non-singular matrices and all in our first lecture only so if the matrix is non-singular then we will be finding out the inverse of a square matrix that means the inverse exists fine and here we are going to take help of the adjoint of the matrix okay and what is inverse of a matrix so how do we represent and what is actually the inverse of a matrix so suppose a and b two matrices we are just considering okay one matrix is A and the other matrix is B. Both are square matrices for sure of same order. So if both matrices have the same dimension, then if we have the criteria that AB equals BA, even that also we have seen, right? AB, how to find AB, how to find BA, right? So if AB and BA both are actually equal to I, what is I? I is the identity matrix, okay, of same order. So in that case, we will be saying that B is inverse of A or we'll say the vice versa or we can say that A is inverse of B. Okay, so what we have discussed, we have said that we are going to consider two matrices of same dimension, of same order, and of course the matrices are square matrices. And if this condition satisfies that AB equals BA equals I, I is the identity matrix of same order, okay, then we will be saying that B is inverse of A or we can say that A is inverse of B. Okay, so this inverse and all is going to be very useful in our coming classes. So here we are going to see that how to find the inverse. Okay, and the method which we are going to use is the adjoint method. That means very first thing we are going to start with how to find the adjoint of a matrix. Okay, fine. So here we are going to consider two matrices. This matrix is of order 2 cross 2. This matrix is of order 3 cross 3. Okay. So we are going to see that how to find adjoint of a 2 cross 2 matrix. Then we will be seeing the how to find adjoint of 3 cross 3 matrix. Fine. So we are going to consider the very first question. So this question is the 2 cross 2 matrix. So my very first step is what step number 1 to find the adjoint of a matrix is to find the determinant of the matrix. Okay. Determinant of 2 cross 2 matrix is very easy. We have seen right that we are going to move in this direction. We are going to move in this direction and then we'll get the answer. That means what? 1 into 8 I'm going to write. Okay. And then this is your minus in between and then minus 3 into minus 2. So 8 minus plus 6 that means 2. So the determinant of A is 2. Okay. So this is step number 1 is done. What is my step number 2? Step number 2 is adjoint of 2 cross 2 matrix is what? You are going to rewrite the matrix. The number of matrices you are going to rearrange in this fashion. That means adjoint is just one line. Adjoint of matrix is what? You are going to write the elements which are present in the principal diagonal. This is principal diagonal. We have, co we have covered everything in our first lecture only. Fine, no? And this we call as secondary diagonal. So the element which is present in the principal diagonal, they are 1 and 8. We are going to interchange them. 
here we are going to write 8 and here we are going to write 1. We are just going to interchange these two elements, whatever the element will be present. And what I am going to do in the elements which are present in the secondary diagonal. So they are here, this is your minus 3, here this is minus 2. That will be as it is only. Okay, so we are going to write here minus 3, here minus 2, but with the negative sign. Okay, that means the resultant matrix is what? This is your 8, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 1. And this is only a joint of 2 cross 2 matrix. Okay, so why we have found this step number 1? This step number 1 is to find the inverse of the matrix. The adjoint of the matrix is just my step number 2. This is my answer. And to find the inverse of the matrix, we are going to write down. We are going to write down this formula. Formula is what? A inverse is adjoint of A divided by the determinant of the matrix. That means adjoint we have just now found that 8, 2, 3, 1. This is the matrix. And then we are going to divide it with the uh, with the determinant, right? That means 2, okay? So this is the reason that we say that the determinant of the matrix should not be 0 to get the inverse of the matrix. If it was 0, then it was not possible, fine? So this is the inverse of 2 cross 2 matrix, okay? If you just have to find the adjoint of a matrix, you don't have to find the determinant of the matrix. You just have to find the adjoint in this method. Okay, now we are going to see how to find the adjoint of the matrix and inverse of the matrix, which is of order 3 cross 3. Okay, so fine. So here we have a little uh, lengthy process. What we are going to do here? We will first evaluate the cofactor of every element. Okay, what does it mean? What is cofactor? So we will be seeing this formula. Okay, what is this formula? This formula we are going to use. This is I plus J. Okay, this is I plus J. So this formula says that A I J. Okay, so that means this is one element of the matrix A I J at, at ith row and jth column. It is minus 1 to the power I plus J at which location this element is present the row and column and then we will be multiplying it with determinant of m i j what does it mean m is the minor of the matrix corresponding to this element okay total nine elements are there in our three cross three matrix we are going to find total nine cofactors okay because nine elements are there in our three cross three matrices so we are going to see how to find the cofactor of element a11 and so on Okay, so here we are going to see it. Nine elements are there. Okay, nine elements are there. Cofactor of A11. Okay, what is my A11? This element is actually A11. Why? Because this element is actually present at first row and first column. This element, this minus 1 is present at first row and then second column. This element is present at first row and then third column. Similarly, this element is present at second row, first column and so on. And we have to find the cofactor of each and every element. Okay, so with respect to this element A11, what is the minor for that? So for that, we are going to first write down that what is the minor of A11. What is the minor of A11? That will be what? So for that, if you are considering this element, this position A11, then you have to discard all elements which are present in the first row and discard all elements which are present in the first column. So how many elements are present and which are them? So they are actually 0, 6, 1, minus 1. Okay, so this is called as the minor of this matrix. Then we have to find the determinant of this minor. To find the determinant of minor, what I am going to write down, this is my step number 1 to find the cofactor. This is my step number 2 to find the cofactor. To find the determinant, we always move in this fashion. Fine, no? That means what I am going to do? 0 into minus 1. Then in between minus sign is there. Then 1 into 6. That means this is nothing but 0 minus 6 minus 6. Step number 2 is also completed. Now, what is my step number 3? Now, we are going to see that what is my step number 3. Step number 3 is what? Whatever we have found this determinant of A11, 
we are going to put the sign according to this formula. The formula is what? Minus 1 to the power i plus j. Okay. That means this determinant is minus 6. We have got of this minor. So, this I am going to multiply with minus 1 to the power i is 1 for this element, right? For this element, i is 1, right? And then for this element, even j is also 1. Row is also 1, column is also 1. So, minus 1 to the power 2 into minus 6. That means this is your plus 1, okay? Then minus 6. So, here your cofactor is also minus 6. So, this way we find the cofactor of each and every element. But we have one more way to remember this formula. We just put the sign according to this method. This is alternate plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. Okay. So, we are going to write down this signs here. Okay. And then what we are going to do? For this element, that means to find the cofactor of A11, after step number 1 and step number 2, we are going to put the sign positive here. And then for finding cofactor of A12, we are going to put the sign minus after my step number 2 and so on. Okay. And the other way is what? All elements which are present in the principal diagonal and all elements which are present in the secondary diagonal, those elements will be multiplied with positive 1. And all elements which are not present in the principal diagonal or secondary diagonal will be multiplied with the negative 1. Okay. Any of these methods will be okay for you. Just you have to practice. So how to find the cofactor of A12? So, cofactor of A12 is what? That means I am going to consider this element. To find the cofactor of A12, I am going to write the minor with respect to this element. So, minor with respect to this element is what? You are going to discard all elements which are present in the first row. All elements you are going to discard which is present in the, in the second column. So, the elements which will be present are nothing but this is 4, 6, 0, minus 1. 4, 6, 0, minus 1. This is what? This is minor. This is minor with respect to element 1, 2. Okay. So, this is your step number 1. What is your step number 2? Step number 2 is nothing but you are going to find the determinant of M12. So, to get the determinant, you have to move in this fashion. That means this is nothing but 4 into minus 1. And then minus 0 into 6. So, this is minus 4 minus 0. That means minus 4. Okay. Now, what is your step number 3? Step number 3 is what? This element is present here. That means you just put the minus sign in front of minus 4. So, minus of minus, right? Minus of minus 4 is nothing but plus 4. So, here cofactor of A12 is plus 4. Okay. So, cofactor here is plus 4. Similarly, going to find all those cofactors. Okay. Fine. So, if you have found the cofactor, after that, what you have to do? Your next step is you have to, here only, you are going to find the adjoint of the 3 cross 3 matrix. To get the adjoint, whatever cofactor matrix you have got, you have to find the transpose of that matrix. So, cofactor of all your i and j is nothing but the very first cofactor you had got was minus 6, then 4, then 4, correct? No, minus 6 and 4 we have seen. Here you have to find 4, right? You just find and check whether your answer is also coming or not. Then this is 1, minus 1, minus 1. This is 1, minus 1, minus 1. This is, then this is your minus 6, 2 and 4. So, minus 6, 2 and 4, right? So, this is nothing but the all 9 cofactors which we have found, we have written in the matrix format. Now, the adjoint of the matrix is here only. You just have to make the transpose of this matrix. So, what is transpose of this matrix? This row you have to write in column fashion. Okay. So, very first row you just write in the column fashion, in this fashion. So, this is minus 6, 4, 4. Fine. So, second row you have to write in the second column fashion. So, second row is your 1, minus 1 and then minus 1. Third row, write down in the third column. So, it is your minus 6, 2, 4. Okay. So, if you have got the adjoint of the matrix, then you have the formula of A inverse. A inverse is what? 
you have to just divide this adjoint of the matrix with the determinant of the matrix. So we will be seeing that whether the inverse exists of this matrix or not. That means if the determinant of this matrix is not zero, then only we can say that the inverse of this matrix exists. Okay. So what is the determinant of this matrix? Last class we have seen, right? Last class we have seen how to find the determinant of this matrix. So determinant of this matrix is what I'm going to consider this first row element. So this is nothing but one into 0 minus 1 is nothing but 0 minus 6, okay. Then minus sign I am going to put here, right. We have done it, right. 1, this is your plus minus plus. So, I am going to write down minus of minus 1 will be your plus 1. Then I am going to consider these four elements. So, 4 into minus 1 is nothing but minus 4, then minus 0. So, this much is only there. This is your plus plus 2, okay, plus 2, then these four elements I am going to consider. So, into 4 only because minus 0. So, this is minus 6 and then minus 4 and then plus 8. Fine, no. So, this is your minus 10 plus 8. This is nothing but minus 2. So, the determinant is minus 2. That means the determinant is not 0. The determinant is minus 2. We are going to write down this matrix, this adjoint of the matrix which we have found here. And then we are going to multiply it with 1 by minus 2. Fine, no, 1 by minus 2. This way we find the inverse of 3 cross 3 matrix. Fine. So if you find this class useful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.